Now that we've recorded the membrane potentials from our various solutions, you'll plot these values on a semi-log graph that you can see in front of us here. To read this graph on your x-axis, you'll notice that it increases in a logarithmic scale, meaning that it goes up exponentially. Whereas on your y-axis here, you'll notice a linear scale. Now to read the x-axis and the log scale here, we will be demonstrating three different cycles. The first cycle here increases in increments of one and starts from zero going up all the way to 10 here. The next cycle increases in increments of 10, meaning that it starts from 10 and goes all the way up to 100 here. Finally, in the third cycle, it increases in an uh, increment of 100, meaning that it starts from 100 and goes all the way up to 1,000, right at the end of your log scale here. On your x-axis, where you have your log scale, you'll be plotting the potassium chloride concentration, whereas on your y-axis, where you have your linear scale, you'll be plotting your membrane potential.